Hello everyone, welcome to Reactify Labs. Today, we are going to talk about the low-level design of a library management system. So, think in terms of interview. You are asked to design a library management system. The interviewer will only ask you this question, design a library management system and the interviewer is not going to tell you anything else unless you ask them. Okay, so the first thing that you are supposed to do is ask your clarifying questions like what are the requirements of this system you always start with requirements okay so here you can either tell the interviewer to uh, or ask the interviewer to give you the requirements or you can tell them that these are the few requirements which are coming to my mind is it good uh, so the interviewer will tell you their opinion that yes this is good or uh, let's modify this to something else or let's add one more requirement. These things can be given by the interviewer, but it's primarily your responsibility to make sure to collect all the requirements which are required to build your system. The interviewer is testing you on your requirement collection, collection analysis, requirements collection and analysis skill as well. Okay. So with this, let's start with requirements. And uh, as we know, the library management system is a very popular system. Uh, we all have used libraries some point in our life. So uh, we know we have a basic idea. So let's list down the requirements. The first requirement is uh, there should be a library member. Okay. I'll mention it as member. Okay. What member can do? Member should be able to search books. Okay member goes to the library and search for the books and how can they search the book search the book by title uh, either they know the name of the author or maybe they know the category they want to know what are the books available in the category of geology so that's what they can do okay next is uh, we know that there will be a librarian okay what is the job of a librarian uh, his job is to assign books or you can say check out books. His job is to take returns. His job is to collect fines. Mostly these things. Okay. Next requirement comes is uh, there will be books. Right. Now what happens is each book has a unique identification number which is called um, I think it's called ISDN, but okay, it's the, I'm not sure, but this is it. Okay. Um, there can be other things like the location where the book is located in the library. Okay. Also, let's see, there is one book called, uh, um, which book? Let's say CLRS book is there. Okay. The book was only one. There is only one book written but there will be multiple copies of that book and each copy may have its own identifier okay so that is called a book instance or we can say a book item okay so we know that book item will have many things inherited from the book and some of its own properties okay now uh, we can add a few more things like um, when when we search the system, the system should tell us, the library management system should tell us who took out which book, right? Um, we can assign some limits also that you, you can take at, at max 10 books at a time. Um, you can keep a limit. Uh, keep the book for only 30 days at max if you need to if you want to keep it for more than 30 days you have to return it and then re borrow it uh, seven is fines collection is also like collection will be done by the librarian but uh, how much fine is there how to calculate so these things will be done by the system <clears throat> next is um, let's say Notification thing also can be done like if you are uh, if you have borrowed a book for 10 days, maybe you will get notification uh, two days before your 
due date that you have to return the book okay so these are the few requirements which uh, we will keep and we'll start okay so we know the features now let's see what are the important classes that we may use okay <coughs> so the important classes are library will be an uh, will be a class okay uh, we will have a class called book we will have a class called book item we will have a class called account because every user will have an account each user will have a library card um, and uh, there will be a fine class as well there will be an author of the book there will be a user there will be a shelf on which the book is present when we uh, borrow the book or um, reserve a book there are many information like reservation id which book how many days so they can also have one class like book reservation class mm. so for check out of the books there can be a book lending class Mm, and we have to send a notification as well so let's see this is a notification class as well okay so once we know that these are our important classes we can start making these we can start uh, describing that okay what each class will look like and if required we can extend this as well so with this in mind we will start making our system okay so let's make our system So our system will look like something like this. We know that we have an author. Okay. So let's say we have an author. So this is a class. Okay. What all things will be there with an author? A author will have a name. Okay. Author will have a description. Okay. Now, what do we know? What does an author do? An author writes books. Okay, so this is one class. Now there is another class called book. Book has a few things like um, ISBN, International Standard Book Number. Uh, book will have its own title. Book will have a subject. Book will have a publisher book will have uh, like number of pages book will have the price mentioned on it book will have um, anything else no uh, i think this should be good like you are not expected to uh, write all the exhaustive attributes of any class so this is good to begin with i think this uh, price we can remove this number of pages we can remove this publisher we can remove this much is sufficient for now okay so this is another class now we know let's say shakespeare has written multiple books okay but it is also possible that one book is written by multiple authors they collaborate collaborate and write one book can have four five for example let's say clrs the corman book uh, of programming it is written by four authors so we know that one author can write multiple books and one book can be written by multiple authors so we will this make this many to many so this class will have many instances of book class book class will have many instances of author class so that is like this okay now we know that this is a book clrs is a book which has unique isbn now each clrs copy will have something different okay let's say a book item is there okay book item has a barcode book item has different things like uh, book item says that if it is borrowed or not if it is borrowed what is the due date because you borrow a book item you don't borrow a book okay uh, what is the um, format like is it uh, um, 
पेपर पैक और हार्ड कवर सो दीज थिंग्स विल बी द क्वालिटी ऑफ अ बुक आइटम ओके एंड दिस बुक आइटम एक्सटेंड्स दिस बुक ओके सो सी दिस इज हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोसीड वी नो वी कुड नॉट राइट ऑल दीज थिंग्स इन बुक बिकॉज वी नो दैट आई एस बी एन इज यूनिक टाइटल ऑफ द बुक इज यूनिक सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द बुक इज यूनिक ऑथर्स कैन बी सेपरेट सो बुक आइटम वी डो नॉट नीड टू अननेसेसरीली एड रिटेंडेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन इन ईच बुक आइटम इंस्टेंस ओके सो दैट्स वाई वी कीप दोज थिंग्स विच आर यूनिक सेपरेट एंड देर चाइल्ड सेपरेट ओके सो दैट्स इट बुक आइटम एक्सटेंड्स दिस नाउ लेट्स से वी हैव अ क्लास कॉल्ड लाइब्रेरी क्लास ओके सो वी हैव लाइब्रेरी वॉट इज देर विथ लाइब्रेरी लाइब्रेरी हैज अ नेम एंड अ लाइब्रेरी हैज एन एड्रेस ओके एंड वट्स द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन अ बुक एंड अ लाइब्रेरी लाइब्रेरी कंटेन्स बुक्स बट लाइब्रेरी डज नॉट कंटेन बुक इन दिस केस इन दिस केस लाइब्रेरी कंटेन्स बुक आइटम ओके एंड दिस इज लाइक दिस लाइब्रेरी इज कंपोज ऑफ बुक आइटम्स एंड वी नो दैट वन लाइब्रेरी विल हैव मल्टीपल बुक आइटम्स ओके बट वन बुक आइटम विल बी ओनली इन वन लाइब्रेरी ओके सो दैट्स इट नाउ नेक्स्ट कम्स द account okay let's say there is an account now we know that a user will have an account like member the librarian will also have an account so if there are some common things we can keep it separate like for account we know there will be an id there will be a password there will be the status of the account there will be the um, we can say name of the person maybe so this is going to be account but from now from this account we will extend two things like one a librarian account and one will be a member account okay member will have things like date of membership total books check out total books taken okay so this will be there librarian does not have any specific information as such but yeah see this there is one thing which i am not doing here like the methods of the classes okay there can be certain methods for example the member will have like if the member wants to know uh, what is the total number of books i have withdrawn i have uh, borrowed so far so get total books will be this <coughs> okay for author uh, let's say we need a getter and setter function so for author it will be get name we will get the name of the author for book we get the title we get the title of the book for library we get address of the library okay for book item we do the check out of the book item okay for librarian we'll have things like add item like librarian adds a book item librarian blocks a member okay similarly librarian unblocks a member so these are the uh, functions of librarian okay account will also have things like maybe let's say reset password and we know that librarian and member are going to extend the account okay now we talked about a library card okay there will be a library card which will be associated with an account if you have an account only then you will have a library card otherwise not okay so it is like this okay library card will have a card number library card will have a barcode library card has a date like when is was it issued if it is valid or not so these things will be there with the library card okay so <clears throat> that's it now uh, there are few things which are left like let's say there is a function called shelf okay 
uh, for shelf we know that there is a shelf number and there is a location identifier there is shelf number and there is a location identifier so a book item is placed on a shelf and we know that one book item will be on one shelf but one shelf can have multiple book items okay so this is good now we know that an account is going to make book reservation so there will be a book reservation class and when a reservation is done it will have a creation date it will have a status okay reservation status and it will have certain functions like get status we can check if our reservation is successful or not uh, if we want to get the reservation details we can know that fetch reservation details okay and that's how a reservation class is made and who makes the reservation an account makes the reservation okay and uh, we know that it's again one to many but our many is maximum 10 okay one account can have maximum 10 books uh, borrowed okay so that's it and the next thing that we can do is um, once we have reservation what we can do is there is one thing called book lending okay book lending book lending means the book is borrowed and now it will have a creation date when was it borrowed it will have a due date when it needs to be returned and it will have a return date as well okay and when if the book is lent then there will be a fine associated with it if you have if you do not return it within the due date then there will be an amount and we can check how much fine we have accumulated so there will be a function for that which is called get amount okay now the fine will have a notification right as soon as there will be notification which will have an id notification will have a date notification will have the content like what is this notification for there will be a notification when you make a reservation there will be a notification when you borrow a book there will be a notification when you have a fine okay and notification will have a function called just send a notification okay and this send notification can be things like either sms notification or sorry sms notification will be a class or email notification will be a class okay and we know that these sms and email sms and email are going to extend this notification class okay sms notification email notification so nothing sms will uh, take this mobile number as the parameter email address will take the email id as the parameter so that's it okay again uh, if there is a fine there will be a transaction associated with it okay because you pay your fine using uh, when, as soon as you make any payment there is a transaction recorded for it so there will be a transaction for the fine okay and it will have a date when it was created and it will have an amount and we know that uh, a fine can be paid by different methods and these different methods are going to extend it like credit card transaction cash transaction let's say check transaction so these are the ways so these are going to be an other different classes which are going to handle each of the payment methods okay so they keep they keep their respective uh, information for example credit card will contain the number of the credit card name of the credit card uh, check will contain the bank name and the uh, check number cash will contain information like how much cash was given for example let's say the tax uh, sorry the um, charge was hundred dollars and um, 
sorry the charge was ninety dollars and somebody paid hundred dollars then the cash tendered was hundred dollars and then they got returned the ten dollars so these things will be handled here okay and this fine transaction is a class which will show and now if you see this is our system design for the library okay I think this covers everything I know this is not readable but if you go step by step the way I explained it will be clear for you okay and if you see now you are able to visualize which is interacting which 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 is not possible in other lectures when you are just shown the code you are not going to know where the relationship is between the two classes here it is very clear okay so that's it um, in the next video i will cover some other system so thank you for watching please remember to like share and subscribe i'll see you in the next one